Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. All right, let's uh, let's dive into this next topic here. Now that we have <laughs> absolutely blasted uh, Kirby Smart for the last however long. <laughs> That's all right. It's good for him. That's good for him. Well, body, builds, body uh, builds contact. It's builds, okay. builds character, right? That's all right. Um, yeah. College football numbers for 2019. The National Football Foundation released all of this kind of stuff last night, and they, they do this once a year. It was the top ratings highlights from last season. So they discussed, like, the growth of the sport and all that. Last year was obviously the 150th anniversary of college football. Um, yeah, 392 regular season telecasts. They averaged 1.84 million viewers per game. That's a 2% increase from 2018. They reached last year more than 145 million unique fans. That is a pretty astronomical number. Uh, 145 million different people, and obviously you can't get an exact here, but uh, around 150 million people watched college football last year. Like, even if it was just one game, you still had that many. 38 postseason bowl games, and I want everybody to pay attention here because for all of you that wonder why we have so many bowl games and why we have bowl games, period, 38 postseason bowl games averaged five. Point oh four million viewers per game. I'd like to take the the big bowls out and okay. see the numbers. They reached ninety million unique fans over the thirty eight postseason. That doesn't answer my question. There, though. there was not a single bowl game last year that did not have over a million viewers. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. If if you took all of the BCS bowls, the the big boy bowls away. And and then it brings that average down from five million to like two million, then that's fine. That's still a hell of a number. I'd really like to know what that number yeah, is. Yeah, see what that was because nobody gives a shit what the average is when we know that the national championship and the playoff games and all this other stuff are bringing in ten million people. The other, what's the Gasparilla Bowl bringing in? Hey, you saw the bad boy mowers of Gasparilla Bowl had to change uh, names, right? Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do next. But no, yeah, I'll find another sponsor. It'll be all right. The winning cures everything bowl is right there for the taking. That's I'm right. Just saying. Uh, but no, that, like that's, and I'm sure it's a hell of a number. I'm sure it's better than any NBA regular season game that we had all year. Okay. Which is why we yes. have these games. I would just really want to know the number. That's why I don't like averages when people tr- are trying to inflate numbers. That's a good the point. real number is still pretty damn impressive. Uh, ben said, where would the WCE Bowl be played? I think that's in St. Petersburg, Florida, isn't it? Or is well, it that's Tampa? if you took that game. But yeah, if, if it was we that had one. a choice, uh, Las Vegas. Uh, <laughs> 100%. Damian <laughs> Estrada <laughs> jumps in on YouTube. What's up, brother? He said, what's up? Uh, the college football playoff national championship presented by AT&T last year between LSU and Clemson delivered cable TV's best audience in more than two years. It notched a live 27.31 million viewers. That was up yeah. 330,000. And I bet the two other two playoff games were at least 10 to 15 million apiece. That, that, well, they, that, they averaged, carries that, was that the next 5 game. million average. They, they averaged 21.49 million viewers for both games. Right. That was the yeah. average. So, um, so therefore, therefore, you take those numbers, that helps pull that big average up. That's that's why I just – and not that it's a bad thing. I'm going to bet the number is still really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just no, want to know so what the numbers are for the lower bowls because that's how you justify why we have so many. Ben, we know why we have the big bowls. Oh, yeah. Ben said our uh, our bowl game would be in Tunica, Mississippi. <laughs> uh, there's a field big enough to play it in. He said Tunica High School. It's A. Oh. Woo. Woo. Let's, let's get after it, boy. I'm in. Depends on what teams we'd be bringing in. Uh, CBS Sports scored the network's best college football viewership in 29 years. So, for anybody that was wondering why ABC and ESPN paid, what, $300, $400 million a year for the SEC, uh, this is why. Because they averaged over 7 million viewers per game. And ESPN is going to double down when it's all said and done. Uh, um, I think they are going to get the SEC big two thirty game. Oh, it's it's already done. They've already signed. Oh, is it? I didn't know. Yeah, that. it's done. 
It's done. It's it, but we still got three years. Well, I knew that we had CBS. three years. I didn't know that they had already signed a deal. Do it's, we know the numbers? It is. Uh, well, I don't think they can technically sign until, but they've already they've come to an agreement. Whatever. Do, it's, do we know the numbers? The numbers are between three hundred and four hundred million. Okay. Um, but it, uh, the CBS is paying fifty five million dollars a year right now. I know that like, CBS deal is a joke. It's an absolute travesty, is what it is. Uh, college football on Fox had its most watched regular season ever bringing in an average audience of 3.7 million. That's a 12% increase over 2018. Look, Fox taking those games and moving to the big noon kickoff the new, uh, uh, helped The smartest everything. thing anybody's done in college football in a long, long time. And it time. helped everybody else. Yep. Like, it, it, it gave it where you didn't have all the competition at 2.30. No. Nothing but helped. crap games were on at 12, but nobody got up and started cutting grass at 12 because game day just finished. You just you either finish in a late breakfast, starting on an early lunch, and you're just going to hang out, and you're watching a shitty game. And then all of a sudden, the wife's seen you watching football pregame and then a football game that you don't really even care about for like five and a half hours. Now the good game started at 2.30, and she's like, get your ass out there and cut the grass. Fox was like, mm-mm. Let's dominate this 12 yes. o'clock hour. It's a fantastic idea. Michael jumped it's in, the by the way. the smartest thing in the world. Outside of not having your biggest games be night games for the home fans, everything else is perfect about it. Oh, it fits perfectly for the I'm TV really show. glad the SEC will, doesn't have to do that, yep. but I like that somebody else is doing that. Yes. Uh, ben said that's going to suck losing the SEC on CBS. Yeah, here in the... I don't give a damn. Uh, Michael said, what's up, fellas? Got a little bit of service, and the wife is driving. So he's listening on the mobile right now. Oh, there you go, Mike. That's what I'm talking about. Bring it in, brother. Let's go. Um, ESPN Network's increased uh, their audience year over year in every category. The regular season, bowl season, the CFP semifinals, and the CFP national championship game, and the college game day built by the Home Depot, which delivered. This was the best year that game day's ever had. Yes. Uh, Most watched season since 2015. Uh, as far as fans, give our boy Felica some some love on that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a, gotta love the bear, Chris Felica. Shout out, brother. Uh, NCAA programs draw forty seven and a half million fans to stadiums during the season. That is uh, pretty astronomical. Forty seven point five three seven million fans in attendance this year. Uh, yeah, we can talk about the attendance problems at different schools and all that kind of stuff. Look, people still going to the games. Like it is what it is. Um, where is it? LSU led the nation. I knew you would love this one for total fan attendance, attracting 1.280985 spectators to all of their games in 2019, including home, away, neutral, and postseason. 12 other teams eclipsed the million mark Ohio State, Alabama, Texas AM, Michigan, Penn State, Georgia, Clemson, Auburn, Tennessee, Florida, and Wisconsin. Um, a lot of people. LSU broke the record or set the bar pretty damn high for the most alcohol sold <laughs> in st- beer, beers sold <laughs> legally sold in stadiums. Last year was the first yeah. year we got to do that, and uh, we drank almost every school out of booze that offered it. Oh yeah, oh everybody was celebrating last year. Um, all right, let's see. Ben said that Vandy game was basically a home game uh, for LSU. Yeah, I have, but it's a, like I that have a friend year. of mine that was yeah. at that Vandy game, and he said they drank Vanderbilt out of booze before halftime. Mm-hmm. If Ben was there, can you confirm this? Or is my friend a damn liar <laughs> and just wanted to make me feel good? No, no, no. I saw an article about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was like, like they, they drank the Nashville out, out of Friday. booze is fine. I'm sure Wisconsin did it. I'm sure lots of places did it at some point. Doing it before halftime. For a noon game? Well, especially when you drank a whole bunch of different bars in Nashville out of alcohol the night before. That's yeah. pretty impressive. I will say that. I will tell you this. It's, that disappointed me being a, a Memphian, Tennessee guy. We love Nashville. We're not the, the, the people that have the little man, little brother syndrome from Nashville. We, we are proud supporters of Nashville. Very disappointed to know a school like that's coming in town and you're not ready. Uh, yeah, I just, you get that right. if, if if Wisconsin comes to your town, if LSU comes to your town, there's a there's a couple of big schools that are just known for throwing down. If they come to your town, you better be ready. They shut you out. You because this businessman in me wants to whoop every bar owner's ass. 
Because how much money did you leave on the table? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, just want to just go in there and start slapping folks. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's I can't unbelievable. understand that. Uh, let's see. College Football 150 programming. LSU Alabama did massive numbers. Let's see. Was that the biggest regular season game? Uh, LSU Alabama game delivered a 9.7 rating, making it the highest rated regular season college football game on any network in eight years and the most watched regular season game between the teams since 2011. Uh, they had 16.7 million viewers, uh, represented a 44% increase against last year's primetime game. Yeah. That's uh that's pretty big. Notre Dame at Georgia was the highest rated college football game on CBS in the month of September, uh, in the last six years. Uh, Georgia Florida did pretty well. I mean it's it, everything was was coming up gold. Roses, last man. Year. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. It was great. Uh, Damian Estrada jumps in. He said, "If sports do come back, I think they should have the teams." into group stages and have the top two teams of each group compete in a playoff. T- I have no idea what we're discussing right now. He said, like, March Madison in the NIT. I guess it, maybe he's talking about NBA playoffs and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, a group stage would be fine. Like, just have them all compete. Just bring, ben, bring ben, all 30 Bill, of them back. Ben Simmons. Bill Simmons um, had a podcast I haven't gotten to yet, but someone told me it was about trying to do the NBA like uh, a World Cup kind of uh, – thing to where you do a round robin yeah basically what this guy's saying world cups in groups all those groups play a round robin then they get into a tournament i mean that could be interesting I like, all of these things would be interesting if if i know adam silver adam silver wants to try and make this championship not have an asterisk yeah. and he wants it anything to be weird like that is somebody's going to point and say that champion don't matter yeah yeah you're right uh, Michael said, I would love to go check out a game at LSU. Uh, Aggies and LSU this year are going to be fun. The wife has given me crap, said I'm a dedicated listener. Yeah, 100% you dedicated. We, uh, we will be at the LSU. I will be, I don't know if you guys are backing out, I will be at the LSU-Mississippi State game. We, we will see what the situation comes to. I mean, my plan is to go right now, but. I'm, I'm going to be there. Who knows? Who I knows? Got hotel rooms waiting on us, already reserved. There you go. Uh, let's jump into this topic. We'll uh, we'll close out the show on this one, uh, and, and I think we're gonna have some fun here. And that was before I knew Leach was gonna be involved in it. Le- oh, before the Mississippi State game. I'm sorry, <laughs> I thought you were talking about the topic. 